good morning all of you in previous lecture we have studied about computer structure and some basic details of, about computer and today we'll learn component of computer block diagram and different types of computer system In previous lecture, we had discussed what is computer, data information and knowledge transformation, characteristics of computer, organization of computer, and application of computer in different domain sector. So <clears throat> today we are going to discuss component of computer. So let's see computer comprises of all individual units that we will be studying in this lecture. First one is monitor. Monitor is called output device, VDU sometimes visual display unit. And uh, this is used for display your outputs. Keyboard is an input device. You can input your data through keyboard and your data can be text numbers, etc. CPU, central processing unit, which is also called brain of computer. Inside CPU, further you have three units, control unit, arithmetical and logical unit, ALU, and memory unit. So basically what we are doing, we are entering input through input devices, and that input will be process by CPU. Inside CPU, your ALU perform all arithmetical and logical operations on data. And before processing and after processing, your data will be stored to memory at particular location. And all, all this process is controlled by controlling unit. All this process is controlled by controlling unit. Then we have printer as an output device. Final, when your data is converted to information after processing, your data is presented to user via monitor and printer as an output devices. So mouse is a dash device. Output, input, both stories. Type your option fast. So next is block diagram of computer system. Uh, we need to enter data from input device to computer center processing unit. Inside CPU, we have three units, control unit, ALU, and memory. So data is entered through input device to computer. And for processing, and in processing unit, we have separate blocks. First of all, data uh, in processing unit, ALU perform logical operations on data and stores to memory unit. Stores in, final result will store in memory unit. Control unit is responsible for movement of data from one unit to another. Then, Information finally will send to your output devices and can be represented to user via monitor or printer or some other output devices. Input unit, data and instruction must enter the computer system before any computation can be performed on supplied data. Input unit that links the external environment with the computer system perform this task. Data and instruction enter in input unit in forms that depends upon the particular device use. Input unit means the unit, the devices through which we are entering data to computer system. Output unit is just reverse of input unit. So we are in input unit, we are sending data to computer. In output unit, we are taking results from computer. So in output unit, data is supplied to user. 
it supplied information and result of computation to outside world and we, it connects computer to external world cpu central processing unit is comprised of alu control unit and memory and cpu is also called brain of computer control unit is responsible for selecting interpreting and seeing the execution of program instruction control unit is able to maintain order and direct the operation of entire system the movement of data from taking data from user and giving back results to user back is controlled by the control unit next is categories of computer we have five types of computer first category is pc personal computer the computer that a common man is using is personal computer the computer that we are using is called personal computer it's a single user computer system having moderately powerful microprocessor single user computer system having moderately powerful microprocessor because they are general purpose second is workstation but their microprocessor is superbly high more powerful as compared to personal computer third one mini computer it's a multi user computer system and capable of supporting hundred of users simultaneously multi user computer system means multiple people at a time can use such such machines simultaneously mainframe again multi user but technology is different from mini computer mini computer uh, ranges around 250 but mainframe is range up to 1000 super computer is extremely fast computer and which can execute hundred of millions of instruction per second super computer is very large in size and they have high very high processor microprocessor so total we have five categories of computer personal computer that we are using workstation having which are specially designed for specific purpose mini computer multi user computer system mainframe mainframe is also multi user computer system but it can support more range simultaneously super computer specially designed for specific purpose and extremely fast computer and which is superbly fast and uh, can can solve million of instruction per second so here is a question which of the following is not multi user computer super computer mini micro all all these computers are multi user computers so we had discussed component of computer what is called brain of computer cpu types of computer five categories we had discussed personal workstation mini frame main frame and super computer thank you all for your time and cooperation